So I'm going to get started and talk about today. Now, this is our number five. This is our lesson number five in the summer sketchbook series. And I really am excited. Um, sorry, I have to interrupt Judy. <laughs> is it every day glitter day? I know you would think. Sorry, I got sidetracked by that. Um, so the whole point of this sketchbook series was I like to have something to work around instead of just randomly, oh, we're going to paint this, we're going to do this, because I want it to have some kind of substance and meaning, and that way it makes it easier for me to kind of lesson plan these small, short, little bites of art lessons. And I am just so excited by what I'm seeing everyone do and people are messaging me and emailing me and showing me their sketchbooks and I'm really honored that you want to show that to me because I know they're very personal and just really beautiful things are happening and I see it on Instagram like people are tagging me and it's just really exciting that you're taking this little project, the summer sketchbook series and really doing some work in it, a lot of work. And I'm, I'm hoping, I hope that you're finding your way through it. So um, I, for those of you who are new here or maybe um, haven't done the, the sketchbook series or want to know more about it. So this is our fifth one and you can find them on my blog. I'll be posting last week's on the blog this week. Um, I'm always like a week behind with those. Um, due to time and editing, getting them all up, and then I have to write something, and I have to think about that, <laughs> what I want to write. So, and they're also on YouTube. Um, so, my feeling about the summer sketchbook series is, um, in the summer, you know, we're all, you know, for those of us who have kids, the kids are out of school, we might be going to visit people, having people visit us, and so time is different, our responsibilities are different. And sometimes there's time to like just slow down and we, if we travel or if you go away for the weekend and you don't wanna carry like a suitcase full of art supplies because then that's too much pressure. So what I try to do when I travel is I just travel light because I know I'm not gonna use it. I'm, when I get there, I'm always like, oh, I wish I had that one color, but it's fine. I can be creative and, and I wanna capture the moment. So the whole purpose of my sketchbook is to kind of document my experiences, the emotions I feel during those experiences, or even on a random day, like I feel certain things and I will document that and I might do a little abstract. Um, and to capture the um, it, it, to capture things, capture ideas. And so when you're working and ideas come based on an experience or an adventure or something you have to put it you got to get it down and so that's the whole point and for me as an artist and i know i really feel confident in saying this that i know you as artists as well want to continually to grow to finesse your style to use your voice and to not be trapped into making things like other people. We have to take class to learn techniques, but it, in order to feel very fulfilled is we need to tap into something that's in within us. And we can't do that by looking at other people's stuff. We need to look at our own sources and we need to take our ideas and we need to allow them to turn into something. So the sketchbook is, or an art journal, you can take it further using your art journal, but this is a place that's truly authentic. This is where you capture those ideas. This is where you are going on a trip, you catch a quick sketch, you make notes about the colors, you make notes about your experience, it's like a travel log, basically, of what you're experiencing day to day. And you don't necessarily have to go on a swanky vacation. It could be just you ran to the grocery store and then all of a sudden you got an idea. So that's why you have to have something with you all the time because that idea could be gold. And it is gold, actually, because it's going to lead to the next thing. So as you work through your sketchbook, you work and that leads to the next thing that leads to the next thing. So it's this evolution of 
your style, your ideas, your experiences, your art. It's all there. It is only you. And even if you are influenced by another artist and like something they're doing, when you work in your sketchbook and you look to your sources of inspiration and your ideas, then your style and your voice is going to come out. So with all that said, today I was thinking about this lesson and what I want to do. And I was actually on my phone. I, I have, I try not to be on my phone for a big chunk of the day because it sidetracks me. So I put on do not disturb and I work, I'm in working in my studio and I've been working on this new class. I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Um, and what I'm discovering. So I was looking through my phone because I wanted to show a friend these pictures of my recent trip to Italy because she just got back from Scotland. So we were talking about it. And as we're sharing photographs, I'm looking at this little screen, the shape, and I went, oh, well, that's kind of how I see my trip now, <laughs> my phone. So I thought, well, that could be kind of fun to take that idea of like looking through this very, very narrow field of focus and look at my trip again. And it brought up memories, it brought up experiences, and that's kind of how we look at it now. I don't have a photo album, I have my phone. And so it's almost like this bird's eye view of this one space. So what I did was I took one of my photos, two of my photos off the phone and then I printed them out in the shape of my phone and this is how I'm going to work today to take this moment this beautiful moment in Italy with this flowery tree and like the mountains of Lake Como and then there's the Swiss Alps behind it and this tree line and all of this in the meadow it's an olive grove and there's the lake that's behind there use this as my inspiration because it was my experience I was looking at this I was remembering what I felt and that day and the sunshine and I'm going to do a little mini abstract of the landscape not really abstract but kind of an expressive let's go express it's in between it's not abstract and it's not going to be realistic um, but it will be representational of this place and I like this format I could have turned it this way too and, and made it long wise. So I thought it would be fun to, what if I did this with a lot of pictures, just these little moments, like capturing them as a moment. And um, it kind of reminds me of, of last year when I did the window, the window series, you know, looking out the window. So I'm looking through to this moment again. So this is kind of evolving. I don't know if it'll go anywhere, but I thought this would be fun as you look at your beautiful photos and then you can take those moments and turn them into a piece of artwork that is only you can do it's your moment your experience and it's your picture and that's what it's all about it's yours and then it will go this could grow into something else so i'm gonna flip this around and i'm gonna show you some simple supplies that i'm gonna use in this all right all right so Here's my picture. Now what I have here is a, a, a watercolor art journal that was created by one of the people in our creative community, Jeannie Dickinson. And it's leather, it's beautiful. And there's watercolor pages in here. And then she puts these beautiful inserts too um, of this vellum in between. So, and they're in here and they can be, you can take them out um, and replace them and she makes replacements. And I'm going to announce this little um, spoiler alert. Jeannie is making custom ones. It's a little bit smaller for my shop for the holidays. So they're very beautiful. She's very talented and just kind, humble, sweet person. So I'm excited to have them in my shop. So, all right. So I'm going to, let's see, let me find a good page here. All right, let's start with this. So what I have here, oh wait, no, I did one. I fixed it. Hang on a second. I already made one. Let me look for it. I think I just lost it. I did the taping. Okay, here it is. So what I did was I put my phone down 
and I traced my phone and then I taped on the outside of it. So this is my phone that gave me my format. And this was the olive, like an olive grove on the lake. And this was at the villa we stayed at, these beautiful climbing roses, which would be, I think, just zeroing in on that. I think you could create a really beautiful floral piece from that just because it was a bigger picture and I just kind of cropped it in. So I'm gonna work on this here. And I have a mechanical pencil and I have, these are great to travel with. These are those Neo 2, there are Neo 1, they're oil-based, these are water soluble. So I have some of these little crayons and I have this art graph. Um, it's like carbon and it's water soluble. You can dip it in water, it makes very black marks. And I have uh, my palette off to the side here and let's see, make sure I can, everybody can see everything I'm doing here. I feel like it's too, there we go. Um, I have a few watercolor paints that I pulled and I don't have to do exactly this color palette. So I'm gonna do a little bit more muted. So what do I have? I have olive green, I have Mayan dark blue, Payne's gray, and then Alvaro's Caliente Gray, and I have that. And then I have a little bit of white gesso, which you can put in a, if you're traveling, I've put it in like a little container. Um, and then a couple brushes here. So what I'm gonna do, let's make sure. So you can travel with your, you know, some tape and a little set of scissors. What if I turn this around? Okay. That good? No, you can't see this. All right. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna look, we've already talked about in one of our lessons about negative space, and those are like the shapes around your subject. So if I'm looking at my clouds, that could be my subject, and I'm just looking at this kind of interesting shape around the clouds. Then there's the shape of the mountains, all right, and I can see it much clearer on my phone, but this is printed on my printer. And there's shapes within the mountains to give them shapes and you know dark darker colors. Then there's the lake that's right there, and then there's the trees. Some are closer, some are further away, and there's a lot of dark and light shapes in the trees. Then there's this meadow, and there's this beautiful flowering tree that was right here. I was standing up above, um, on a wall that had a railing. I was looking kind of down at this. So I think I'm gonna sketch it out a little bit. I'll put that over. And, but I don't wanna get too tight about it. And I want it to be a, a loose, quick, I'm not gonna agonize over it. So I'm gonna put in my little mountain range here. There's another mountain here. There's the lake and then there tree line and then here's the meadow it's kind of at an angle and then this is going to be my flowers so i'm going to start and let me just see what colors i have here so I have the Payne's gray and then this is the mayan blue which is a little more blue and this is the the gray, I think. Hopefully I did it right. I got all my blues mixed up. Yeah, that's the Mayan blue, so you can see that. And I also have a paper towel off to the side. All right. So I'm just gonna do a quick wash in these little areas here. And then so I'm just playing with the grays and the blues because this is kind of a blue-gray mountain range here. And this is just the first wash and I can go back over it. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a little green, but I'm mixing the green up kind of with my blues and grays. And let's just kind of, kind of push it down here. Okay, so I have this little space here. Now what I'm gonna do is take this dry and I'm going to 
kind of, well, actually, I'm gonna put a little bit more water right here. I'm going to make tree shapes here. So I'm just gonna kind of push this in. It's a little too wet now. So these are kind of my little tree shapes. All right. My little pencil. All right, so this is drying. Now I'm gonna take my, pen, my paper towel and I'm gonna pull out a little bit of clouds here. And then I am going to take this flat brush and I'm dipping the corner into my gesso and I'm just going to put some clouds. This is my first layer. Can't quite see them yet, I'm gonna need some darker paint. Yes, that's a little bird you hear um, in the background. It's Olivia's parakeet, Ophelia. <laughs> she's downstairs, so Olivia doesn't want her to be alone in her room and she's gone all day. So Ophelia hangs out in the living room. All right. And I can go back in and pull out more if I want to. I'm gonna, I just put the um, brush in. I'm gonna kind of move over this, the tree. So I'm, uh, this is like a quick sketch with the watercolor. All right, I think it needs a little bit more green. To get variations and I'm just gonna let this sit for a bit. Um, bring in a little bit of these. These are great to bring with you so you can get some interesting marks. All right now I'm gonna take this little brush again make sure it's clean and I'm gonna start working, I'm using white gesso, and I'm gonna just start adding this floral tree. And just in the shapes that I see, and it's gonna pick up some of this green paint that I have on here. And there's some darker areas which I can add to, to try and build up some value and form. But it's just, you know, I'm doing a quick watercolor sketch to capture this beautiful olive grove with the mountains. And just kind of thinking about all the people who I was with and the experience and, you know, the, the pictures never do it justice, but you can tap into how you felt and where this could go in your art. And I could do a whole series of these if I wanted to in any medium I want. All right, so I'm gonna dip it into my, try to get some dark in here, maybe a little blue. So what I'm doing is just drying off my brush and I'm going directly into the thick part of the watercolor. to add some interest in the color. Little grassy shapes. So this is kind of a stiff brush that I have here. very thick through here. And the gesso is kind of fun because it's kind of textural. Um, I could use white acrylic or white gouache. That would work too. But this is what I had sitting right here. So I decided to use this. All right.
So I'm just really interested in making the shapes of the landscape. Let's see, a little bit more blue. And, you know, playing around with different mediums really helps in your overall um, skill and technique, just seeing what things do. And just every medium is going to kind of lead the way and what it can do and, and how you can use them in your work. All right. I feel like, oops, I need more clouds up here. So I'm just going to... One of those things I could keep playing with. All right. So that was just quick. It's not a masterpiece. And you're probably thinking, you're right. It's not a masterpiece. But we're just catch capturing the moment. All right, so let's see what happens when I take it off. I got stuff bleeding through, so it's probably going to be a big mess. But it was fun to do. Oh, it's not too terrible. Okay, so I can take a little bit of the gesso here and move it along there. All right, so now I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna write here, Lake Como 2022, Olive Grove. Okay, so there we go. So you can capture a lot of your different experiences through the lens of your camera and Put them in your sketchbook and write out your ideas. A little bit of... So play around with it. It's not, oh, I'm, thanks Bonita, I'm glad you liked it. Um, it's not about making this perfect painting for anyone else but yourself. And, you know, I'm doing it live. It's always like awkward and weird when I do things live. But like, oh, that leaked over there. That's a mess. But that's just how it is. And I don't mind. I just, this is who I am. I have messy art journals. But that's going to lead me to the work I really want to create. And I also want to get across to you because we are all inundated with so many beautiful images that it all starts like this. It's like these quick things that are not about technique. It's not about perfection. It's about capturing something that's more important than a perfect painting. It's about expressing yourself as an artist, as a creative. So I would, I'm so excited. I hope you try my little through your camera lens and capture some moments and like this I really like this I think it's kind of a cool idea the way it's all moving and the white flowers are kind of mirroring the clouds and it could be a really beautiful little oil painting that I take time with and then I really you know I get a good quality print if this is something I'm going to go forward with I get a good quality print and I have that up and I have this as my reference so this is all mine and my experience it's not anything from anyone else. And that's what I think ultimately we need as artists. It has to come from a place and it's gonna lead one step to the next. So anyway, 
with all that said, <laughs> have, a, have a great weekend. And there's going to be two more summer sketchbook series. We'll be next week and the following week. So anyway, I want you to have a lovely weekend. Thank you for being here every week. I appreciate you more than you know. And I will have this up sometime. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And um, enjoy the weekend. And I'll see you next week. Bye.